Hey everybody, and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams. This is the artist known as Andrew speaking, and it's time for another scam call. Now, the final expense scammers, the ones that call you telling you they're offering you final expense life insurance, they're going to transfer you to an agent or have an agent call you back, they're despicable people, and I love wasting their time. And uh, lately, they've been calling a lot more, so I guess they're, they've moved on to other scams, and this is the one they're going to focus on for a while. Perfectly fine. I don't mind. They call constantly, five, ten times a day, and I love screwing with them. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the call. And just a reminder, if you like the content, like and subscribe. We do daily videos, daily shorts, and we live stream on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We get together, we chit-chat and talk for about an hour or so, and we always have a good time. So you're more than welcome to join us. Hope you enjoy the video, and we'll catch you all next time. Very, very good. Uh, God bless you with very good health, ma'am. This is Sam. Uh, I spoke with you last week on Monday. Did you remember that? I think so. Oh, no problem, ma'am. Let me remind you again. Actually, the reason of my call is just to give you the information about final expenses. program is only designed by the state of Peloria. Uh, may I write, ma'am? Uh, I... I can also see that you are living in Florida. May I write? Yes, I'm in Florida. Oh, oh, that's perfect, ma'am. Uh, that's a great day. Uh, so just to provide you the exact information, may I know how old are you? Well, who are you calling for? <clears throat> Actually, ma'am, uh, this program is about uh, final expenses. Right, I understand that. Okay, that's perfect, ma'am. So, may I know how old are you? Well, hold on a second, Sam. Let's step back again. Who are you calling for? Who are you trying to reach? Because there's more than one person that lives here. <clears throat> I tell you, to, to my kill Jones. Who are you trying to reach? Uh, to my kill Jones. Spell it. Oh, did you say Timothy? Timothy Jones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That's me. That's me. What can I do for you? I don't remember talking to you on Monday, but I guess maybe if you called, I did. Okay, man. Monday was the holiday. Why would you have called me on a Monday? Monday was a Monday was a holiday, sir. No, it was a holiday. It was Memorial Day. Don't you remember? Didn't you have the day off Monday? You sure you didn't call me on Tuesday? Oh no, ma'am. Uh, <clears throat> Wait a moment, man. I can answer each and every question. Are you saying, ma'am, or man? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, can you hear me now? Are you saying ma'am as in a lady, or are you saying man as in me? Okay, ma'am, do you know what this call about? Final expense insurance, right? Okay, okay. So I can see that you're residing in Florida, right? Who am I talking to now? What happened to Sam? Yes, ma'am, this is Sam. Why do you keep calling me ma'am? My name can I is say something if you don't mind? My name is Timothy. I'm not a ma'am. Oh, sorry, 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 sir, sir, sorry, sir. Can I say something if you don't mind, sir? Sure, go ahead, say something. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So I completely understand that you are not interested and you already had paid for but this program is not about that, sir. This is completely different from another program. And right now, I am not selling anything. In fact, we are just providing some updated course and information through the state. So you can just listen the information, and after that, we'll and after that, we'll be on your way. Okay. Now, is this about final expense insurance or something else? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so just to provide you the exact information. Why? Do you yeah, keep you know calling me? You? Why do you keep calling me, ma'am? Do I sound ma like a no, lady? Sir, sir. So 
So just to provide you the exact information, may I know how old are you, sir? Sixty-eight. Oh, sixty-eight. Well, I must tell you, sir, you don't sound like sixty-eight. You sound pretty young, sir. What is the secret? <laughs> <laughs> I am talking to you on a phone. I mean, maybe the phone makes my voice sound differently. May God bless you, sir. Sir, so as I promised you before that this is not a sales call. Sir, right now, I am not selling anything. In fact, we are just providing some updated course and information through the state. So you can just listen the information, take some time to think about it. And in case, if you like something, you may give us a call back by yourself. And if you don't like it, no problem. There will be no cost, no application from our side. Okay. What's and What's I your mean, name again? At the end of the day. What is your name again, please? Sir, this is Sam. Okay. And as I promised, you know, no one will be asking you to purchase anything. Because why do you keep the information? So you can why am I? Your way, okay. Why do I keep talking to different people? You keep handing the phone off to somebody else. Let me tell you, sir, actually, I'm the supervisor here, right, and the guy wasn't able to help you understand in the proper way. Right. That is why I took over the call, okay? And is your name also Sam? Are you both named Sam? No, 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 no. I am Sam Smith, right? Okay. He was David. No, he yeah. told me his name was Samuel. Who? He said his name was Samuel. Samuel was the first guy you were talking to, right? How many different people I have I talked to so far? No, like, it was just two guys, okay? The first one was Samuel, the second one was Dave, and it's me, Sam, okay? I'm the third guy. So I'm just here to, you know, help you understand what this call is about, okay? I'm already confused. I, I've been talking to three different people. Why, why are you doing that to me? Well, sir, uh, actually, you know, you first tell me you're 68, right? Yes, and you're confusing the hell out of me by switching the phone with different people. I don't understand why you're doing that. Let me tell you, sir, actually, uh, it's just about some additional information on a new final expense program, right? That could cover all of the funeral and burial expenses. So that is why, you know, any idea on which coverage should I tell you more about, like 5, 10, 15, 20, or 25, maybe. Just a roughly idea. Which cover is suit you the best, you Can, think? Is it possible to speak to David again, please? Yeah, it is. Uh, if, if, if that's okay with you, because you're uh, really starting to creep me out. Uh, well, so actually, I'm just, you know, helping, like... Making you're, you help. You're not help what this call is about. You're not helping me at all. I'd rather talk to David. He at least had a nicer voice. Can I talk to him again, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, let me just okay. transfer over the phone to him. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Hello? David, is this you? Yes, sir. David? Okay. Yes, sir, this is David. Don't. Don't do that again. Sam has a creepy voice. I don't want to talk to, to Sam, okay? I want to talk okay, to you. Okay. Okay. okay, sir. Yes, yes, David. How can okay, I help you? So, we have three different coverages. Okay. Uh, to show you, like, cheap is 5,000, the middle is 10 to 15, and the maximum is 20 to 25. Okay. So which coverage would you like to know the information, like, cheap is middle or maybe the maximum? What's the standard of idea, sir? Are, are you able to give me an idea of what each, what each program costs, uh, what the cost is? Uh, so, uh, may I idea of the program? Actually, the reason of my call is just to give you the information about the state regulated right. final expense program. Right, I understand there that. There will be no cost, uh, no obligation from our side. Okay. Okay, I mean, of course, and the end of the day, you are the best judge of yourself, right? Yes, yes. But what I was asking is if you know the cost for each of those plans, because that's that's what I'm curious about. That's, that's the, the information I need. On our each, each, yes. On your health conditions. Right now. Okay. Right now. Right, right now. Don't think about the cost. Well, that's the okay. biggest. That's the biggest thing for me is what the we cost are just is. Providing you information. That's like asking me to pick between three different cars, but not telling me how much each one costs. I, I, I can't, I can't give you a valid answer unless I know what the cost is. Have, you know. I have my license agent from my zip. Uh, 
from your local zip code i will quickly connect you with him he oh okay tell you the prices so you just have an idea about it okay the the license agent will be able to okay, tell me the cost okay that's that's great that's perfect thank you david i i knew you'd be able to help me you have such a nice voice hold on hold okay on. okay i'll hold on let me transfer hold on let me transfer you oh okay okay thank thank you david tell me, tell me on which coverage will you like to know the information okay go ahead and transfer me david i appreciate it you're such a nice young man. Five thousand ten to fifteen and twenty to twenty-five thousand. I'm sorry. <laughs> five thousand ten to fifteen thousand and twenty to twenty-five thousand. Well, so like I fine, said, would you like to know the information? Well, like I said, once I know what the cost is, or or just a range of cost, I can make a decision. I, I'm on a, a well, fixed. I mean, I'm on a fixed know. income, don't you know? On which one? On which one? Well, like I said, again, it depends on what the cost range is for each plan, which one I'd be interested in. If you don't have that information, the license agent should, right? Information on the coverages, on all the coverages, all of them. Yeah. So you can let me that, okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. If, if that's information okay, that the license agent will have, I'll ask them. That's not a problem. How do you pronounce your last name? What? How do you pronounce your last name? Williams. <clears throat> First name? Timothy. Oh, okay, that's respect, sir. That's a beautiful name. Oh, thank you. That's respect. My, my, that's pretty, that's my, pretty much information. I my, my mom, my mom and, and my, mom, my mama named me. I've always thought it was uh, a nice okay. name. <laughs> okay, sir, that's great. So that's pretty much information I need it without wasting any time. I'm going to connect you to my senior verifier. She will just verify the information and connect you with the expert. So just, you can just quickly listen it, all right? I, I thought you were going to transfer me to the agent, the license agent. I am, I am. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. You're a good man. And kindly do me a small favor for me. This is my second week on this job, so they both will ask you about my feedback. So do let them that I am doing a good job and let them know that you are here to do the updated course on. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll tell them you did a good I job. Can you do it for me, please? Oh, absolutely, David. Absolutely. Thank you, sir, very much. Yeah, you didn't answer that uh, one I question, though, but, but I'll let them know. That you, that do you have? Yes, sir. What, what's that? Go ahead. Uh, thank you, sir. Then she will ask you about some time that you have 10 to 15 minutes. But this question is only for quality purpose. So I promise you she will not take your 10 to 15 minutes. She will just take your few minutes and after that you will be on your way, right? Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, David. Uh, I will. I want to introduce you. Okay. How is the weather you are say, uh, sitting in your... Right now it's okay. Right now it's okay. Thank you so much for thank you so much for holding on agent two six one. Who do I have today? Hello? I be Tim P. Williams. A sixty eight. He wants to know the information on all the coverages. Kindly assist. Great. It seems you're reading a script. Okay, I'll take a read. Timothy, how are you today? Well, I'm a little confused. What did you say your name was? Uh, Daniel. Okay. Well, the guy I was just talking to, David, told me to tell you that he's doing a really good job. This is only his second week on the job. But he wasn't able to answer okay. all my questions, so I'm hoping maybe you can. Exactly. Go ahead, please. That's are, I'm here. Are, now, are you a verifier or a license agent? A verifier. Oh. My job is to get to quickly qualify you and then pass you up at my license agent. Okay, so you're not going to be able to answer my questions either then. Yeah, okay. Right. You, can a you can ask a question. All right, what's well, your question? Please? Well, he told me that there's three different plans. I think it was 5000 to yeah. 10000 15000 Yeah, and I asked him what was the cost for each plan, and he didn't know that answer. 
because he asked me which right, one I he asked me which one I'd be oh, interested no. in, and I told him I'm on a fixed exactly. income, so it really depends on the cost. So exactly, you're right. Can yeah. I ask you something? Sure. Do you believe in burial or do you believe in cremation? Well, I know they both exist. Do I believe in them? Sure, okay. I believe in them. All right, all right, all right. Uh, like, you know, some people only believe in cremation and some people only believe in burial. Like, I only believe in burial, not cremation. Well, cre I was, I was asking you. well I, b I believe in both of them simply because they both exist. You know, they're real right, things. Can you, can, you, know. you can be buried yeah. or you can be exactly. cremated. Me personally, I'd like exactly. to have I'd like to have like a Viking funeral. You know what that is? Exactly. Do you know what that I is? What a Viking me. funeral is? Well, I've heard about it. Yeah, yeah, it's where they sit. They put your body in a small boat and they push you out into the water. I know that. I know and then that. they and then they set it afire. So it's kind of like a cremation, I know that. but it's not an actual, you yeah, know, yeah. put you in a crematory. I, 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 I would, I would exactly. hate that. that. That would scare the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. Do you have yeah, any? One of my friend, uh, he did, he did a Viking funeral. Yeah. To his father, like I went to there. Yeah. It was in California. Do you know how much that costs uh, like, you know, the, compared to a burial or well, my a... My license agent is going to let you know. My license agent oh, is going okay. to let you know. Let okay. me make it very easier and quick for you. Okay. I'm going to quickly patch up at my license agent and they're going to give you information on five to 10,000 coverage plan. They're going to give you prices on it. Then just simply listen to it and make them out accordingly for the future. Okay. Your last name is Jones. You're living in the state of Florida. Zip code with me is 32220, right? No, the zip code is 32202. Everybody seems Three, to get that wrong two, lately. I don't know why. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, I've just updated in my system, okay? So no worries about it. Okay, you have it, as, me. you have it as 02, not 20, right? Exactly. Yeah, because 20 is a completely different part of town. That's like... That's like downtown exactly. compared to the beaches, and I, I don't, I don't like, I don't uh -huh. live at the beaches. I don't like the beach, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. All right, got you. So your zip code is three two two zero two, right? Yes, yes, that's right. That's that's close. To, that's close to the that's close to the downtown. That's closer to the heart of the city. Not the beach. I don't right, like the beach. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Same. So you can tell me you're sixty eight. May I have a date of birth, please? March 1st, 1955. I know I'm late, but happy birthday. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Be, um, it seems you like know, it, it, seems like it was it. forever ago, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and this, uh, like, God forbid, you got uh, any major health condition like CHF, HIV, dementia, cancer, or anything like that? No, I'm pretty healthy for an old guy. Okay, and this question based on your yes or no, like... I don't need any of your personal or a private information. <laughs> like just a strict yes or no question. So you get additional discounts if you are using a check-ins or a savings account. So do you got a check-ins or a savings account? Do you got one or do you got both? Uh, yes. You got a check-in account? Yes. Fantastic. Timothy, you are perfectly qualified. Now I believe you have a quick 10 to 15 minutes to go over the options. Sir, it's not going to take a whole day, okay? Okay, I hope not. I got things to do. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to make a roll kick for you. So just for the quality assurance purposes, I need to confirm that you agree to receive information via live auto dial through email or a text message from my license agent at the telephone number you provided. And this communication will override the state or federal. Do not call this. You might be listed out, okay? I'm, I'm not sure if I understand correctly. All right, the disclaimer means that while talking to my license agent, uh -huh. if the line got disconnected, so he or she can reach you back on the same phone number, or he or she can send you all this information through mail, email, or text message if you want to see something in front of you. Otherwise, you won't be receiving a bunch of calls or mails from our company, okay? Okay, but what was that part about the national do not call list? Yeah, it only means that my license agent has a permission to contact you back even if you're on a do not call list, okay? Well, if I was on a do not call list, you guys wouldn't have called me in the first place, right? That's what I'm saying. Oh, 
do you guys check the do not call list before you call people? Because I think I'm on it. I'm pretty sure I'm oh, on you're it. On do not call list? I think right. so. Have a good day. All right, you're not eligible for getting grades on final expense. Wait a minute, then I why did you it's... why did you call me in the first place? If you're not going to help me. Anything, all right. Can I tell you? Okay, can I tell you, Timothy? What you wasted my four hundred seconds. It's almost six minutes. Oh That's no! For me. <laughs> oh no! I wasted four hundred seconds. I wish I could have wasted more. <laughs> We're not going to call you ever again. Yeah, right. I swear, I'll probably get another call from them today. <laughs> hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.